don't see fishes like you every day, huh? <laughs> oh! Ha! You hungry? How about we make a deal? I do something for you. You do a few things for me. Everybody wins. Best offer you're gonna get. Huh? Think about it. Wait! <laughs> Ephalonia. <laughs> Some gift. You were nothing without Marcos. And look how far we've come. From an orphan on the streets to a misthios with a havel. Another Cyclops will take everything away. I can't protect you from him forever. He'll kill me too. Oh, don't be scared of him. And look at you! How could I go up against him? With what weapons? A rusty spear? A broken bow? There you are. Skulking around the temple won't save you from me, Marcos. Drusilla! I was just talking about you. You were? I need that wood, Marcos. These new bows will be the talk of the island. I can't make anything with those bandit malakes stopping the wood shipments. Of course you can't. Why, I was just filling my friend Alexios in on the details. He already has a plan to deal with these bandits. You know me, always prepared. What did I tell you? He will leave no stone unturned. I don't care who does it, but someone better got those bandits. Today. A wonderful idea. I, for one, uh, need to rush home. Alexios, I've cooked up a plan for our Cyclops dilemma. See me when you have time. If you want your wood, you'll have to fix my broken bow first. Hmm. I usually only pay when the deed is done, but shit's moving at a snail's pace. Follow me. These balls will make me rich as Chrysos. They're that good, are they? War's brewing. The Athenians need good bows if they want to hold off the Spartans. Everybody benefits, I guess. Who are you? Marcos? You should be tired of this small-time shit. You'd make a fortune in this war. Plus, I hear you're a secret Spartan. That was a long time ago. I'm a Kefalonian. Hand it over. There you go, good as new. That bow is as strong as Heracles himself. Give it a try. Shoot your arrow at those dummies! Fair is fair. Are you going to get my wood? Those fucking bandits need a thrashing. Fair is fair. I'll fix your wood problem. Finally! Marcos sure is lucky he's got you as a scapegoat. Any idea where these bandits are? I'm not a tracker, I'm a boyer. They're in the mountains somewhere, that much I know. I'd check close to the lumber camps. There's plenty of trees around. Why do you need this type of wood? I've been working on a new type of bow. It's more flexible, so it lasts longer and can fire at greater range. Only a very special kind of wood that grows high in the mountains will do. I'll take care of the bandits. Make sure that you do. And be quick about it. I'll deal with these bandits and get you the wood you need as fast as I can. Have patience. It won't take long. Ha! If you knew how long Marcos has been feeding me excuses, you wouldn't be saying that. All right, I did something for you. Now you do something for me. Get my wood!
Ella. Here's where the ambush happened. I should look around. That's a lot of footprints. A group left this area, headed west. Shot in the back while fleeing. Must be the work of bandits. Cart was emptied, then left behind. The thief can't have gotten far with that much cargo. That must be the bandit camp I'm looking for. Need to sneak up on them.
I'd better take some lumber back as proof. That old bag won't just take my word for it. Let's go. Look, it's Marcus's mighty champion. <laughs> Don't tell me you actually did what I asked. I tracked the bandits and sent them to Addis. Your wood should arrive in town soon. And you expect me to believe the word of a mercenary? I didn't expect you to believe me, so I brought this. Here's your proof. A sample of the special wood you want so badly. These bows you're making had better be worthy of Apollo for all the trouble I've gone to. By the gods! You sure you work with Marcos? He's never once delivered on a promise. Incredible. I might work with him, but we're nothing alike. I'm true to my word. Then take your pay. Give none to Marcos. Thank you. 
Ah, here you are, and not a moment too soon. I've dealt with the bandits and gotten the wood for the boyer. I had every confidence in you, my friend. Well, your plan? Right. The Cyclops and I have a score of Drach me to settle. The same score as you, my rough and tumble friend. He wouldn't be after me if it wasn't for you, my friend. <laughs> hey, right. But I swear, this will put an end to it. If he insists on sending his goons after us, we'll make sure his last good day was yesterday. Let's hear it then. What do I have to do? What will we do, you mean? As the brains to your brawn, I consider it a joint effort. <sighs> of course you do. Think, what does the Cyclops value most? His men? His land? His ships? No, his obsidian eye. Get to the point, Marcos. Oh, fine. We're going to steal it. Are you crazy? You borrow his rachmi, then you steal his eye? Having it means we win. Then it goes to market. We kill two birds with one obsidian eye. <laughs> He'd better hold still, or he'll lose both eyes. No, no! It has to be done without the Cyclops knowing. You cannot be seen. Then my new bow will come in handy. He keeps the eye in his house. It's too valuable to wear out. A wise choice until you show him the error of his ways. Wait for the sun to set, sneak in, and then bring me the eye. Better be worth something. Do you know how much obsidian goes for in Kefalonia? I've never seen it. Exactly. And not only is it obsidian, it's veined with gold. Gold! It's no wonder he saves it for special occasions. So we'll use the profits to pay him off. It will pay for the bulk of it. A vineyard's expensive, you know. I don't know where the Cyclops lives. Keep to the west side of the island. There you will find his lair.